Hi guys, uh, Chris Davis here. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you now about is the Y hang using the double figure eight in a bite, commonly called bunny's ears. So the way I've got this set up at the minute is probably just on the outside of the extreme of the uh, level one syllabus. Uh, so these distances between these anchor points is just about a meter length. The angle that we're looking at is about 90 degrees. So the idea behind this uh, Y hang itself is for precise position of the ropes, load shear between two anchor points and prevent uh, dynamic loading in the event of one of these anchor points failing. Uh, but what is not is a really flexible knot. So this rope at the moment, if I'm equally loaded here at 90 degrees, would give me roughly 71% either side. But if my position changes dynamically throughout the uh, maneuver when I'm working on the ropes, as I go to one side or the other side, I weight and I unweight one of these anchor points. So it's not overly flexible. So there's a certain thing we can do with this knot to, for it to be self-adjusting. -adjust, so one of the myths out there is this is always an equally loaded or self-equal loading uh, system, but it's not. It's self-adjusting, it'll never be equally loading. So to change this to a, what I would say would be a level two to level three, uh, competency skill is quite simple. All we need to do is remove one of these anchor points and make one loop small and one loop large. So using the common loop, pull the slack through to make one of the loops small and one of the loops large. So we make a nice little small loop here. So now reattach it back to the anchor. What we need to do now is go back to your Y-hand configuration, but what we've got now is we're back to our Y hang, we're back at this 90 degrees. This is a slightly uh, greater angle, at probably going up to that 120 degrees here. That can be changed by lengthening or shortening the length of this small little loop here. But what we have now is an adjustable Y hang, never equally loading. So now I can adjust one way or the other, and it self adjusts as, my, uh, as the operation goes out on the ropes. So now it, adju it adjusts going left or right. If I get to one point and I'm now happy that this is gonna be my uh, direction I'm gonna be going, well, what I can do now is lock this in place if I'm confident that my position's not gonna change throughout these maneuvers. So if I wanna lock it in place, all I need to do is attack, put an alpine butterfly on this top loop. So one twist, two twists, and tie my alpine. Nice small alpine here. Attach the carabiner. Rotate it again now, 180 degrees, so it's facing the, the correct orientation. And now I've got back to still my uh, adjustable Y hang. It does adjust a little bit, so I can go left or right. And now I've got independency that if one of these anchor points were to fail, were to fail, it's now locked on that one anchor point. But I've lost my flexibility of moving. So again, to gain my flexibility back again, undo the Alpine butterfly. And now it's back to my adjustable system. So once I am satisfied to where I need to be, then I can put my lock-in knot in, which would be the Alpine Butterfly. If I want flexibility throughout my entire maneuver, I just leave it like this. Remembering I've got a backup system on the, the next anchor points. As long as these are under one meter, they can share the same anchor points. If they were a greater distance over one meter, they need to be two anchors, two carabiners, two slings, or whatever it would be. Failure in one system, I would fall onto my backup system.